Welcome to Harder Meal Dental Clinic. My name is Sönke Harder and in this presentation I will show you how implants work. Dental implants are normally made of titanium. An alternative material is nowadays zirconia ceramic, but in our office we are only using titanium dental implants because there is a very good scientific evidence for this material. Dental implants are hollow screws. That means we have an outer and inner thread area. The outer threads are used for the primer stability when the implant is drilled into the bone. The inner threads are needed for the fixation or the attachment of the crown. The connecting component between the dental implant and the crown is called the abutment, which is made of titanium as well, or in other cases of ceramic. The superstructure is the third and final component. Let's have a look at a clinical case. In this situation there are two anterior teeth destroyed by an accident. One of them should be replaced by an implant. The following picture shows the situation one week after the extraction of the central incisor. Normally the implant placement should be done immediately after the extraction or in a delayed manner up to eight weeks after the extraction. The next step is done in the dental lab. To have an idea about the intended implant position the dental technician makes a wax up and shows us how the desired treatment outcome will look like. In the next step we come to the surgical part. After the preparation of a mucosal flap and the exposure of the bone, a sterile template, a copy of the wax up, shows us the position of the crown in relation to the jawbone. After the preparation of the implant site by drilling a hole into the bone and the implant placement, the implant position can be surveyed by the template. After a healing period of about four months, we have a very good clinical situation achieved with sound soft tissue. After the healing period, the implant is uncovered. That means we have a small cut through the connecting tissue above the implant and the tissue is used for upholster the buccal part of the gum to have a very thick soft mucosa area there. In the next step a temporary abutment is placed into the implant to have an additional modeling of the soft tissue. This type of abutment is screw retained and the temporary crown is finally cemented. As we can see we have a very aesthetic temporary solution and this situation should be in place for the next four weeks. After the healing period, abutment and crown are removed, followed by impression taking and now we can start with a final restoration. In this case an all ceramic implant supported single crown with an all ceramic abutment. The x-ray image shows the treatment outcome. We have the center incisor replaced by an implant and the neighboring teeth restored with an endodontic treatment and also an all ceramic single crown. The final picture shows the high aesthetic outcome of an implant therapy in this case. Thank you very much for your kind attention.